Yeah, hi, Julian. Good to see you again, and thanks, thanks for having me. It was actually a great, uh, not only great quarter, but also a very good first half uh, of the year. Hey, look, our margins, are, um, our markets are really driven by 5G deployments and uh, fixed broadband, uh, including home broadband uh, deployments. Um, and uh, we have uh, developed for ourselves a pretty strong position on the technology side, which is now starting to come through in, in our deliveries and margins as well. Pekka, can you detail for us a little bit more how the 5G rollout is going and how demand for your 5G gear is? The demand is increasing. We estimate that only about 15% uh, of the uh, sites uh, in the world outside of China have been covered by 5G uh, at this time. Uh, at the same time, when we look at uh, home broadband, uh, uh, the number of homes connected or, or even passed is still quite low in many parts uh, of the world. So we believe that we are still fairly early in the 5G cycle. How are you doing in terms of market share in 5G? Our market share has now stabilized. Uh, it was a bit on the weak side uh, initially in 5G. Now our technology position has strengthened significantly. We have started to win a lot of uh, deals. Now the market share has stabilized. And obviously the next goal is to, is to start to make sure that it starts growing again. Let's talk about the supply side of things now. Um, clearly throughout the pandemic, the supply chain for chips and for electronics has been really difficult. Um, how is the supply chain right now and, and what's your outlook for the second half of the year in terms of uh, chip supplies specifically? The supply chain continued to be challenging in the second quarter, but uh, we do see signs of gradual uh, improvement during the second half of this year and then then uh, in the first half of uh, 23. So it is still a pretty challenging situation out there, but, uh, but it is improving. Longer term, do you think that we could enter a situation where we've got a supply glut when it comes to chips? Uh, may feel very far away right now, but clearly there's a lot of focus on ramping up production. Well, we have seen various types of bullwhip effects in uh, in the world uh, supply chain earlier. So I would not be surprised. Uh, there's a lot of investment going into the semiconductor industry at the moment. We have now started to see a demand for some uh, uh, consumer um, products uh, actually uh, decline. Uh, and uh, if that continues and if the supply continues to increase, uh, who knows, there could be at least a short term glut.